Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Looking for a bike mount case system for your iPhone 13 Pro and can't decide between Mouse's new interlock bike mount and Evolution case and Quadlock's out front bike mounting case? Both are good, neither are cheap. Which one's best for you? Let's take a closer look. So looking at these two cases side by side with the Mouse Evolution here on the left and your Quadlock case on the right, these are more or less the same size. In terms of height, you've got a little bit taller case with your mouse evolution, also very slightly wider, but not by much. In terms of thickness, you've got a varying thickness here with your quad lock case because it has a bump up here in the middle where you have the area where it connects to the bike mount. So at its thinnest point, it's about the same as a mouse evolution, but it's thicker in the middle. Your mouse evolution, on the other hand, has the same thickness in this whole bottom area. Obviously, you do have a bump up here at the top where you have your camera opening, but you also have the same thing here with your quad lock case. As far as bike mount attachment is concerned, the quad lock uses a twist lock system, so you need to put the phone case on top of the bike mount at a 45 degree angle and press down and twist. Overall, the system works well, although it can take a little fumbling in order to find that perfect sweet spot. In order to remove it, all you need to do is press this blue button here and then twist in the opposite direction and your phone case will come right off. The mouse bike mount system uses Mouse's new interlock system. It uses MagSafe to guide the mount into the correct spot. And then all you need to do is press the little blue buttons on the side and then it clicks very securely into place. In order to remove it, all you need to do is press in on the blue buttons and lift off. The two bike mounts attach very similarly onto your bike. They're both handlebar mounted and they're both quite easy to attach, although I think that your mouse has a little bit of an advantage there. So the mouse system has two ways of attachment. It comes with a thumb screw, which is great for a less permanent attachment. For example, if you've got a rental bike or something like that, but it also has a hex bolt option whereas your quad lock bike mount only comes with a hex bolt attachment. And both systems come with a variety of adjustment rings so they can fit up to four different sizes of handlebars. In terms of construction, the mouse evolution case is relatively rigid. We have a polycarbonate frame with some TPU on the sides and on the back. We have a soft silicone lining here on the interior, which should be very gentle against the back of your phone. This is a MagSafe case, which definitely gives us an advantage over the quad lock case, which is not MagSafe. And then also running around the perimeter of this case is Mouse's special AeroShock material. That's that green material here. AeroShock is what is supposed to give this case its extreme drop protection. So this case is supposed to be just as protective as Mouse's Limitless 4.0 case, which is its most protective case. Exactly how protective that is is unclear because Mouse never gives any kind of drop height for its cases. However, I do think that this should provide good drop protection for your phone. The quad lock case also has a relatively rigid construction with a little bit of flex to it. We've got a polycarbonate frame and a TPU exterior with a soft touch finish. Got some quad lock branding here on the sides. Looking on the interior, you have a soft microfiber interior which should be very gentle against the back of your phone and this case is unfortunately not MagSafe. The quad lock case should also give your phone a certain amount of drop protection, although quad lock does not give any kind of drop height. It also doesn't claim extreme drop protection the way the mouse case does. It just says that this should be drop protective for your phone. So which one is more protective is a little bit of an unknown. I would have to guess that the mouse case is going to be more drop protective overall. It does seem more sturdily built, although I do think that the quad lock case seems nice as well. Putting your phone in the quad lock case is quite straightforward. I was using a left hand to right hand side method, although quad lock actually recommends putting the bottom in first and then going to the top corners, but both of these work just fine. Looking at the fit of the case on the phone, we overall have a good fit here, although we do have some give over your buttons and a bit more give over your port openings. This is a little saggy down here, so that's not ideal, but that's quite common with this sort of a TPU-sided case. In terms of the amount of lip you have on here, I do currently have a screen protector on here. This is the Zag XTR Tempered Glass Screen Protector, and if I didn't have this on here, you would have more visible lip. 
but still this is a little bit scanty on the lip side. It's definitely going to give you a lay on the table design, but it's a little bit lower lip than on many protective cases that I have reviewed. Going down here to our port openings, these are symmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design, so that's going to upset some purists, but most people probably don't care. Ideally, you should have a little bit smaller port opening on this side than this side because you have fewer ports over here. But overall, I think that everything looks fine, and you should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, although, of course, this case does support wireless charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. Going up the side to the case, we got some quad lock brand down here. The sides are smooth, soft touch, give you a little bit of grip, although it's not a terribly grippy case. Going up here to our buttons, the buttons are fine, but they're nothing to write home about. These are a little bit stiffer than some buttons that I have encountered. They're not quite as good as your mouse buttons, for example, but they're not terrible. And then going up here to our mute switch, most people should be able to access this okay, although if you have larger fingers, you might find it a little bit more difficult. Looking at the view from the top of the case, again, you can see the amount of lip you have on here. Definitely give you lay on the table design, although not tons of lip. Again, really nice fit here with the glass XDR screen protector. And then going over here to our side button, the side button is a little bit easier pressed than the volume buttons, which is good. And then we have a bit more quad lock branding down here. Looking at the back of the case, we've got the same soft touch TPU on here that you have on the sides. It has a very nice feel to it, gives the case a little bit of grip, although the downside of this type of material is that it does show greasy smears and fingerprints relatively easily. We have a bit of a bump here on the back where you have the connection point where it connects onto the bike mount. This is this quad lock thing here. So when you're using this, people definitely know that you're using a bike mount case. So that may or may not be a pro in your book. As far as the amount of protection you have for your protruding camera, this is really pretty outstanding here actually. Very nice high lip around here. This case is going to give you more protection for your protruding camera than the mouse case does. In fact, it's more than most cases do, which is interesting given that the protection for the screen in terms of the rim around the screen is a little bit on the low side, but then this is higher than normal. So just a little bit different there. As far as wireless charging is concerned, this is gonna work fine with most wireless chargers, I think. It works fine with all the wireless chargers I've tried it with, but it is not MagSafe, so absolutely zero MagSafe compatibility with this case. If you try to use it with Apple's MagSafe charger, it is so thick on the back that it's just gonna fall off. It absolutely won't even stick. And again, in order to attach this onto the quad lock mount, you need to put it in at a 45 degree angle, press down, and turn and then it clicks into place. You can use this in both landscape and in portrait mode. In order to remove it you need to press on this blue button and then twist to remove. Removing this case from your phone is not difficult. Just start up in the top corner, press that off, go down to the bottom corner, press that off, and then pull out your phone. Moving on to Mouse's Evolution case, this is also easy to get on and off your phone. Just start on the left-hand side, push on your right-hand corners. In terms of fit, we have an excellent fit on the phone. There's a little bit of give over your buttons, but very, very little. A little bit more over the port openings, but overall I think that this has an outstanding fit on the phone. In terms of lip, we have a relatively low lip here in the middle and then a higher bottom and top lip. This is a standard mouse design. They've been doing this for a number of years. The idea here is that you're gonna have very good screen protection due to your top and bottom lips, but the case is still gonna feel like it has a slimmer feel in the hand due to the lower lip in the middle. It's also gonna be easier to swipe side to side. So overall, I think that that's a good design. And of course, I do still have the same glass XTR screen protector on here. If you didn't have this on here, there would be even more visible lip. Going down here to our port openings, we have symmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design, just like on the other case. So that's not exactly ideal, but other than that, I think everything is nicely positioned and nicely sized. Should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, although of course this case does support both wireless charging and MagSafe charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. 
Going around to the sides, you have slightly textured plastic on here, and then you have ripple grips in the middle, which give you additional grip on this case. Overall, I think that this is a pleasantly grippy case. Very nice design. Going up here to our buttons, these are contrasting color and extremely clicky and responsive. Really outstanding buttons with this mouse case. You have a nice big area to access your mute switch. No issues there. And then looking at the view from the top, we have a lot of protective lip around the screen. Should be very protective. And then going over here to our side button, again, same super clicky responsive button. And then we've got the ripple grips here at the bottom. And then you have a spot here for a lanyard if you happen to have one, although one is not included in the package. Looking at the back of the case, we've got a nice amount of texture on here due to the system of grooves on the back. The material is smooth and hard, so it's not going to be the kind of rubbery material that makes it hard to slide in and out of pockets and handbags and attracts lint. Overall, this is just going to give you enough grip so it feels nice and secure in the hand, but not so much that it's irritating. They did a really good job in terms of the grip with this case. So we've got some mouse branding down here at the bottom. This is white on black as opposed to the black on black logo that they used to have. So it's a little more obtrusive, so you've got to be aware of that if you're branding a verse. Looking here at the amount of protection for your protruding camera, we have a raised rim. This is going to give you sufficient protection for your camera, but it's not going to be as high as on the quad lock case, so be aware of that. And as far as your attachment for your bike mount, this is completely flat. There's no bump up here at all. However, there are holes on the back here, which potentially could allow dust or dirt to get into your phone case. According to Mouse, the fact that we have a silicone lining on the inside of the case is going to trap dust or dirt and keep them from causing a scratch hazard to the back of your phone. Hopefully that's going to work, but I don't really have any way to evaluate that at this point. I will say, however, that these openings work fantastically well with Mouse's bike mount. So the way that works is that it uses the magnets that are in the case and on your phone as well and the magnets that are in the bike mount so that it allows this to attach on to the sweet spot every time and then all you have to do is just press in the buttons here on the sides and then it clicks into place and then you have a really nice secure fit. To remove this all you need to do is press in on the buttons and then lift off. And again, as previously mentioned, this case is going to be fully MagSafe compatible, so it's going to work great with Apple's MagSafe charger. You're also going to be able to use this with something like Apple's MagSafe wallet. It's going to work with MagSafe mounts. You can also use it with cool things like MagSafe power banks. Got this really nice one here from the folks at Banks. This one is going to give you 5,000 milliamp hours of power. Really nice product here from Banks. So lots of cool MagSafe options with this case. Removing the evolution from your phone is quite easy. Just start up in your top corner, press it off, go down to your bottom corner, press that off, and then pull out your phone. As far as bike mount performance is concerned, I think both systems are going to be relatively similar once you have your phone attached onto your bike. I think both of them are going to provide secure attachment for your phone onto your bike, although I will say, given that I got my review samples in the middle of winter, I haven't really been able to try these out much on the bike themselves. But the attachment for both of them seems to be quite secure, and I think that they should work well. The one concern that I do have about both of them is that they are handlebar mounted, so over time your handlebar mount might become a little bit loose. However, you should be able to tighten it up without any issue. I think that the mouse interlock system has an edge over the quad lock system as far as ease of attachment is concerned. It's definitely quicker and easier to use. The mouse evolution case itself is also a superior everyday case in my opinion with no annoying bike mount attachment bump. It has a sleeker feel and a more attractive look and the buttons are noticeably superior. The fact that it's MagSafe is a huge advantage as well. It also probably provides greater drop protection than the quad lock case although neither mouse nor quad lock gives a drop height for its cases. The quad lock system wins out in terms of price, however, coming in at a price which is usually $20 less than mouse for the case and the bike mount kit. And if you need to purchase an additional case in subsequent years and don't need a new bike mount, the pricing for the quad lock case alone is significantly cheaper than the standalone price for mouse's evolution case. 
Again, we've been looking at the mouse interlock bike mount kit and quad lock out front bike mount kit for iPhone 13 Pro. These products are available from the respective manufacturers and are priced at $69.90 for the quad lock out front kit and $89.99 for the mouse interlock bike mount kit, although at the time of this video the mouse kit is on sale for $69.99. Additionally, you can save 15% on your mouse purchase by using the affiliate coupon code in the description below. Unfortunately, I don't have a similar coupon code for quad lock. Many thanks to the kind folks at Mouse for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and you might want to hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot of iPhone 13 series accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.